This is the anechoic chamber at BRE, one of the largest sound testing labs of its sort in the UK. Large enough to accommodate a symphony orchestra, more usually we're using it to test the performance of fire alarm sounders, loudspeaker systems, or to help manufacturers of technology such as heat pumps find ways of making their equipment operate more quietly. So what is an anechoic chamber? Well, let me give you an analogy. If I wanted to measure the brightness of this lamp, what I'd have to do would be to set it up and put a light meter over here and measure the light. But I'd have to do that in a darkened space, because otherwise the ambient light around me is also going to be getting into my test instruments. And to be absolutely sure, I would have to have matte black paint on the walls and the ceiling and the floor to be sure we don't get any reflection, because anything that goes up and bounces or comes off the floor and bounces or even off the walls is going to affect my readings. Well, if you like, this space is the audio equivalent of that completely dark matte black room. What we've got here, the walls and the ceiling and the floor beneath this sprung floor, are completely covered in hundreds of wedges like this, foam sponge wedges about 1.2 metres long. Whatever's in the room making a sound, the sound waves will spread out, and when they reach the walls, they will hit the sponge and some of the sound will be absorbed. Some of it will bounce off, strike the next wedge and be uh, absorbed and gradually the sound completely disappears and what you have is a completely echo free or anechoic space. To add to the effect the building itself is actually isolated from the outer structure by rubber buffers and when we close the doors over there it becomes so quiet in here that if you stand completely still and just let your ears become acclimatized to the silence you realise you can start to hear the fluids moving around inside your own body.